unlike all the other commandments, breaking it is actually embraced by our society today. What do I mean by that? Our Western society, the whole economy is based on you lusting after what your neighbors have. Your neighbor has a gets a new 70-inch TV. You see a commercial for an 88-inch TV, and everybody's at your house for the big game. So you lust after it. You desire it, and you want that because you want more than what your neighbor has. And you desire them to be like, oh my gosh, look at that big screen TV. I, it, 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 Whatever it is, the whole system marketing, whether it is on television, whether it's on any of the uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Paramount, um, all of those, all of those that are now showing commercials and even the content within those movies and those TV shows are banked after and going after you coveting what they have. And then all the advertising that's part of that and everything that is on our computers, on our phones, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok, all of those, and then print and then billboards, all of it, all of it is based on the fact that the 10th commandment is not only supported, but it is embraced. They want you to lust after what your neighbors have. Our economy is based on it, but it's all meaningless. It's all stuff that will leave you empty. And this is why the pursuit of the American dream doesn't end in happiness. Wealthy people don't necessarily, aren't necessarily happy because of their wealth. And we're going to talk about that. An, an interesting thing that happened, just a story that comes to my mind. I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here.